The background to this uh, work is that until now we were not certain what the association between blood pressure and risk of diabetes is. Some previous studies had reported that there is an association and others have reported that there is no such association. But taken together, uh, the, the size of the studies that have investigated these questions was too small to be able to provide a conclusive answer. Now, what we were able to do to look at data from about 5 million people in the United Kingdom, but having such a large size, we were able to much more reliably look at the associations between uh, blood pressure and risk of diabetes. Um, during the follow-up period of um, about five to six years, we observed about 200,000 people developing diabetes and we were able to look at not only the association of blood pressure with diabetes overall, but what the differences were depending on patient's age, uh, the body mass index um, and um, a few other features that are important for understanding and predicting risk. Our research found that people who have elevated blood pressure are at greater risk of suffering from diabetes too. And more specifically, we found that every 20 mm mercury higher level of blood pressure, systolic blood pressure, is likely to lead to a 60% increased risk of developing diabetes in the future. For patients, it means that uh, they should be more aware of um, their blood pressure uh, because in addition to several other harms that elevated blood pressure may cause, um, it is also strongly associated with developing diabetes. The major implication of that for the doctors at the moment is uh, they can now better communicate um, the risk that patients with elevated blood pressure are facing. What our study doesn't show is that the association between blood pressure and diabetes is causal. Um, so doctors and patients cannot be certain that it is the elevated blood pressure that causes diabetes and this is subject to future research that we and other groups are embarking on.